Hey yo everyone, welcome to the first episode of Five Block Fridays, my new series where I make Minecraft creations using five command blocks. Um, I'm here in a little bedrock bunker that's just at the center of a uh, new world created with the latest snapshot. Nothing really special other than it's completely sealed in bedrock. I have this chunk force loaded, so any command blocks in this chunk will be running no matter where I am in the world. Um, but other than that, it's just a plain old bedrock bunker. Um, so yeah, this week we're making fireflies. They'll spawn naturally in the mangrove swamps. I know there were a ton of people disappointed when my Mojang announced that they wouldn't actually be adding fireflies to the, the new update, so I decided to see if I could create something in just a few command blocks that would add some ambiance to the game. Um, so here are the five command blocks. I have these preloaded with NBT data. Um, so I'm going to place these, do a little demo of what they do. Um, oh wow, those didn't place right. Let me try that again. Um, yeah, so five command blocks, turn them on, and let's find a mangrove swamp and see what this looks like. And I'm probably going to be right in the middle of the earth. Uh, haha. So, um, as you'll see when we get to the code in a bit, the way this works is that um, in a mangrove swamp, when um, one of the, the mangrove propugals breaks um, naturally on its own, it's going to spawn one of these little fireflies. Um, it floats around, uh, gives off light, has some particles. It's not anything like the original demo of you know the two pixels that we saw early on but um, I think it adds some nice atmosphere to the new swamps. Uh, let's fly around and see if we can find some more. They're not super common but they are uh, common enough that you know when you load a swamp for the first time you'll probably run into a few of them. Um, yeah, you can see some off in the distance there, flying over the water. So, yeah, that's basically all of what the commands do. Um, so I'm going to cut to some screens explaining more in depth what each of the five commands I placed does and how it pulls off this effect. All right, I'm back here in the bedrock bunker at the center of the world, um, and I'll just do a quick overview of each of the five commands used and how they work. So this first command here is the one that takes care of actually spawning the fireflies. Uh, as you can see from the second half of the command, the fireflies are actually bats. Um, but going to the start of the command, this execute statement determines where to summon the firefly. Uh, we start, we look for any entity that's an item and has specific NBT data. Um, what we're looking for is items on the ground that are mangrove propagules. Uh, these will only show up naturally in the mangrove swamp. Um, as the terrain is generating, sometimes leaves will break and these will fall to the ground. Um, and so there's a decent number that will just show up on their own. Um, it's a good place to summon a firefly that uh, won't show up anywhere else in the world. Um, we're also looking at ones specifically that have an age of one tick, so brand new mangrove propagules that fall into the ground. Um, we don't want any of the entities that have um, an NBT tag called thrower. Uh, this is added if a player throws an item on the ground. So these will only be ones that um, have fallen naturally from broken leaves or I suppose from a broken chest or a dispenser shooting them out intentionally. 
Um, so there is a way to kind of naturally fill your space with fireflies if you want, but they'll only show up um, on their own in the mangrove swamps. And then we just execute the second half of the command at those entities. So um, at mangrove propagules that are one tick old, that don't have a thrower, we will summon a bat. Um, this bat has a special tag called firefly. This just makes it easier to identify for leader commands trying to reference it. Um, we set the silent tag so it doesn't make its natural noises, and we set the persistence required tag so it doesn't despawn naturally. The second command is really straightforward. Uh, we just look for any entity that has that tag firefly from earlier, and we give it invisibility for one second. Um, and this true here means we don't show any particles from the potion effect, so the entity is completely invisible. This third command is fairly straightforward as well. Uh, the execute statement is just saying we're executing the command at the position of all the fireflies. Um, the run part portion is just a particle command. We're summoning an electric spark particle. The three tildes mean we're at the position of the entity uh, without any offset. Uh, the next three numbers, the 0.2s, mean we're doing a box around that position. Um, for some reason, these values get multiplied by 8, so anywhere within a box that's 1.6 blocks long on each side, centered around the firefly, will be showing this particle. Um, and the way the box works, it's it'll be clustered towards the center, but it could show up anywhere in that box. Um, the 0 0.1 there is the speed of the particle. I don't think that actually does anything for electric spark, but I like setting it to a low value when I can. Um, the one is the number of particles, so each time this command gets run, we just summon one particle. Um, but this command is getting run every tick, so that's a lot of particles. Um, and as you saw, it, it led to an effect where it, it looks like it's a bunch of different fireflies all um, sparking on and off. And the force at the end there just means we always try to display this particle. Um, there's some particles that aren't rendered if you're too far away, even if you're still within entity render distance. And the force just says to always try to render the particle. Uh, so this one, we execute it at the firefly, and we clear out light blocks that have been left behind from previous ticks. So. Uh, we fill a rectangle uh, three wide, three long, and four tall uh, with air, but only replacing existing light blocks. So it's not just going to carve through walls, it's just light blocks that are getting replaced. And the last command is very similar to the one right before it, um, except we're filling a smaller region with light. So at the firefly, uh, fill a rectangle that's just it's just the block that the fireflies in and the block above it and we're replacing any air there with a light block of light level eight um, part of the reason i'm doing this instead of just a single block is when the bats are either flying through flowers or uh, they may have dipped into the water a bit, it would completely shut off the light that they're emitting. Um, so just adding that second block tall uh, makes it a lot more consistent um, and not flickering completely on and off all the time. And that is the five commands that I used to add fireflies into Minecraft. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a bit different from my normal content, uh, don't worry, I still have more math stuff on the way, but um, I wanted a change of pace, and this seemed like a fun challenge. Um, so I hope you all join me over the next few months as we uh, fill up this bunker with more tiny little Minecraft creations like this. Uh, thanks!